Rabbit Food by Susanna Gretz. This is the title page. Celery, tomatoes, peas, carrots, and mushrooms. That's rabbit food. Danny and Debbie love all of it. John doesn't. Do you want to grow up and big and strong? Asks his mom. No, says John. Why not? Asks dad. Because grown-ups eat celery and tomatoes and peas and carrots, says John. And worst of all, mushrooms. Yuck. The truth is, John hardly eats any rabbit food at all. Maybe he's just not hungry enough, says Mom. Maybe Uncle Bunny can help, says Dan. Dad makes a quick telephone call, and the very next day, Uncle Bunny arrives. Everyone is glad to see him. Now we're off for the weekend, says Mom. Uncle Bunny will look after you. There's food in the kitchen, says Dad. And please see that John eats some of everything. No problem, says Uncle Bunny. At lunchtime, John builds a bridge with his celery, tomatoes, and carrots. Eat up, says Uncle Bunny. They're delicious. Yuck, says John. Eat your rabbit food and you'll grow big and strong like me, says Uncle Bunny. But when no one is looking, Uncle Bunny hides his carrots under his napkin. At supper, John makes a cave with his toast and he hides his peas and mushrooms underneath. Try some, says Uncle Bunny. Just one teeny tiny bite. They're good for you. Yuck, says John. Eat your rabbit food and you'll grow big and strong like me, says Uncle Bunny. But when no one is looking, Uncle Bunny hides his carrots in the flower pot. Next morning, they all play soccer. Then bunny jump. Then tug of war. They get quite hungry. Everyone, even John, digs into Sunday lunch. It's baked potato rabbits. The eyes are peas. The noses are mushrooms. The mouths are pieces of tomato. The whiskers are pieces of celery. And the ears are carrots. That is, all except for Uncle Bunny's rabbit. Why doesn't your rabbit have ears, Uncle Bunny? asks John. Uncle Bunny doesn't seem to hear. Hurry up and eat, he says. We're off to climb a mountain this afternoon. Debbie reaches the mountaintop first. That evening, everyone is very hungry. Uncle Bunny puts what's left of the food on the table, but first he wants to watch the news. Help yourselves, he tells the little rabbits. John is so hungry, he eats lots of everything. Now Uncle Bunny wants some food too, but there's not a scrap left on the table. All that's left in the kitchen is a bunch of carrots. You don't like carrots, do you, Uncle? Says John. Well, I, uh, no, says Uncle Bunny. But they're delicious, yells John, and everyone jumps on Uncle Bunny. They're good for you. Just try a little. Just one teeny tiny bite, and you'll grow big and strong like us. Uncle Bunny bites off a very tiny piece of carrot. He chews it very slowly. Then he bites off another tiny piece, and another. Just then, Mom and Dad appear. I did the best jump, Danny tells them. I climbed the mountain first, says Debbie. I ate celery and tomatoes and carrots and peas, says John. 
and mushrooms. Mom and Dad are delighted. However did you do it, Uncle Bunny, says Dad. You're terrific, says Mom. Uncle Bunny doesn't answer because his mouth is full of carrots. In fact, he says at last, they're not bad. The end.